Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are going to look at a question where we have to compare two astronomical numbers and decide which one is larger. I know for many of you, you are going to comment that you can just tell the answer by eyeballing. But for the sake of discussion, let's just go through with the workout and see how we can approach questions like this. So, let's begin. We notice that both fractions A and B consist of 9999 raised to a certain power. So, in order to do a comparison, I'm going to try to work out the value of A minus B. But instead of trying to figure out the exact value, which is probably impossible, I'm just going to go ahead and let A equal to 9999 raised to the power of 1111. If I do that, then my fraction A is going to be equal to a plus 1 over a squared plus 1. Likewise, for fraction b, that's going to be equal to a squared plus 1 over a cubed plus 1. So this is what a minus b will look like. a minus b is equal to a plus 1 over a squared plus 1 minus a squared plus 1 over a cubed plus 1. Let's go ahead and work out the simple subtraction. First, let's get the common denominator with multiplication. I have a squared plus 1 multiplied by a cubed plus 1 and on the numerator, that's obviously a plus 1 a cubed plus 1 and minus a squared plus 1 multiplied by a squared plus 1. So let's continue. What I now have is a to the fourth power plus a plus a cubed plus 1 minus the square of a squared plus 1 which is equal to a to the fourth power plus 2a squared plus 1 over the same common denominator which is a squared plus 1 a cubed plus 1. From here some of the terms on the numerator will cancel each other. I have a to the 4th power a to the 4th power cancelling each other plus 1 minus 1 cancelling each other. So in the end what I have on the numerator will be a cubed plus a minus 2a square over a square plus 1 a cubed plus 1. If I rearrange that, then I get it. What I get is a cubed minus 2a square plus a over the same common denominator of a square plus 1 a cubed plus 1. From here, I can take out a as the common factor for the numerator. So what I have is a, a squared minus 2a plus 1 over a squared plus 1, a cubed plus 1. At this point, if you look at this part on the numerator, you realize that it can conveniently be factorized to a minus 1 squared. So let's go ahead and use that. I now have a o multiplied by a minus 1 square over a square plus 1, a cubed plus 1. I'm not sure whether that can be simplified any further, but that's what we end up with when we do a minus b. That's the final expression. But if we compare each of the components on both the numerator and the denominator, we can safely say that a squared plus 1 is bigger than 0 and a cubed plus 1 is bigger than 0. For the numerator, we have the same thing where a is bigger than 0 and this component right here is bigger than 0 as well. So if we have two number x and y, both are bigger than 0, the end result of them dividing each other will be bigger than 0 as well. So the only conclusion that we can draw from here is a minus, I'm sorry, a minus b is 
bigger than 0. In other words, A will be bigger than B. That's the conclusion that we draw for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. God bless.